Craft the system of linear inequalities. We need to make sure that both inequalities are in slope-intercept form. The second inequality is, but the first one is not. So we need to rewrite the first one and get y by itself. So all we need to do is add 3x to both sides, and on the left side we'll have y is greater than or equal to positive 3x plus 9. And we'll use our same second inequality and put it into the graphing calculator. To graph the linear inequalities, we're going to start by pressing y equals, and we're going to enter each inequality into this screen. So the first one was y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 9. We're inputting the slope-intercept form version. And the second one was y is less than or equal to 3x plus 2. Now let's set how we need to shade. If we were graphing this on paper, we would use a solid line for each. For the first one, it was y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 9. So we're going to go all the way to the left where it's flashing, and we're going to press enter until we get <clears throat> the top shaded option, which we have here flashing. And you'll watch the graph, and it's going to shade the top part of the graph. And for the second line, we need to shade below because it's y is less than or equal to. So we're going to press enter until we see that shaded below option. Now it's flashing above, we need below. Press enter one more time, and now it's ready. And so if we press graph, you'll see it shade the appropriate region. Now if you notice, this graph of the system does not have any overlap. One graph is shaded in one direction, the other is shaded in the total opposite direction, and there's no overlap anywhere. So in this case, the system has no solution.